Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the 24-hour challenge with me, Simulation for the Nation. You join us here today. We're starting a little bit later than planned because I forgot to press record. But it's just after midday there. It, we are on times 10, and our aim is for the next 24 hours to push through and really start to make some money for our farm. We've just finished a contract. We have been out here at field number 20, spread and fertilizer, and we've got field 17 to go to as well. Uh, now, as we've finished the first field, what we can do is jump on in and hit collect. Now, that's pretty much paid for the fertilizer and giving us a little bit of profit there. Now, the next field we're going to go to is really going to make us some money there. It's worth about 20 grand. But what we need to do first, we've only got a little bit of fertilizer left here. So we're going to go and empty this, then come back with a full hopper load. Because that should about see us through. But we really need to try and push ourselves forward here as a business, make as much money as possible so we can set ourselves up for success down the line and that's going to mean that we can afford to do things like buy harvesters or balers whatever we need to get ourselves through uh we also need to look into drilling our own fields as well we're ready to put some uh cereals into the ground however we do need to do a bit of rolling first so there's a few little things that we're going to try and conquer today uh and across the next 24 hours there so it should be good good fun now what we'll do like i say is just get cracking with this fertilizer spread it's going to take us a while to do this so onwards with the first time lapse and we'll see how we get going Now, as you can see, we have only just clipped over 20%. This is a monster of a field, and you can see how little we've achieved with it so far. We're almost through our second, well, our first full hopper. Uh, so this is going to take quite a few trips. Uh, we will likely cut a little bit of this out as we just keep going through it all. But yeah, lots of work to keep cracking along with here. It's going to take a, a long time to do it, but the reward will be worth it for sure. So we'll keep going through. We've got another couple of loads to get in here. We bought some more fertilizer already, so that's at the store waiting for us. So we can just keep cracking on. Time to sit in, get comfy, because we're in for the long haul.
much, much, much later. Well, all right then, folks. We are about 96% of the way through this ginormous field. Can't really see what we're doing. We don't have GPS on this tractor, so we are using the map just to try and make sure we get everything covered. Uh, and then we got one more pass to do here, pretty much, and then that should be us done. This is... I want to say this is load number three, give or take. So, yeah, it's taking a little bit of go in there, but we are pretty much done. Uh, and then we can move on. It's going to later into the evening. There's 9 o'clock coming up there now. So it is going to be dark. We're going to uh, plow on uh, back to the, the main, to our farm. Take the spreader off here. We're going to buy a set of rollers as soon as we finish this. We're going to buy a set of rollers that are quite cheap. Uh, and it's going to allow us to take the next step there. Because we do need to get some cultivation work done on our own fields before we can drill those. Uh, and I want to make sure we get rid of those stones there. So that will be the next step. And I found some which are pretty cheap there, actually. So uh, that will be ideal. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing that we can take advantage of from a, a discount or a sales perspective there. So we'll just have to go there and, and, and buy some cheap rollers. But they'll do a great job anyway. And then when it gets to daylight, we are going to be going through all the way to about midday. So when the sun does come up there as well, we'll get on with our own drilling. We've got a contract job for some weeding to do that we can definitely try and take advantage of when we get to the day like we will have to lease a bit of equipment for that one but you know that's fine we can we can do that uh it's only one field and i do believe it is field uh 23 so not the biggest in the world either so it should be more than manageable to get it all done and dusted uh and then after that we do have a bit of a problem that we need to uh, figure out hey there you go field 17 is done what a mammoth effort that was uh and so without further ado we want to here go on to our contracts very quickly and uh, 32 thousand pounds in the bank look at that we're looking a lot healthier already i love that uh, so yeah let's get ourselves back on over to the farm where we can discuss the the next small little issue that i've discovered and i don't know quite how this happened but we're gonna have to overcome it uh, and we can move on and uh, it should be well it'll be for the best i have no doubt about that it should be great so we'll um you know, we'll, 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 we'll figure that one out. But yeah, back to the yard and let's see what we can do. So there aren't too many more contracts available this time. I think we're probably at the edges of the limit. I don't know if maybe we'll get a few more when we get into April there. Uh, I would like to think about just trying to get enough revenue gathered up that we could get our own baler of some description so we can start to really branch out a bit more with the, with the types of contracts that we're able to do. We've got our mowers obviously there and currently we're doing square bales. So um, that is something we could maybe look into. But if we want to do... And most predominantly most contracts are wrapping so the square bale a uh, small square baler wouldn't really suffice on that front so maybe we'll have to do a little bit of planning but we will we can see uh now am i gonna go yes i think we'll go in through yeah down by the store in that way it's looking good Now we do have our own drill as well at the moment. It's a tiny three meter drill and it should be good enough. It's also very cheap. So we don't have to worry about spending too much on that. Uh, but what we will do is, like I say, we've got a few bags of fertilizer that we can pick up in the daylight as well from the store because we're going to need those. And our fields aren't looking the best for that at the moment. So now that the contract's done and pretty much paid for that as well, uh, well, definitely has. And with what we have in the, uh, in the spreader already there, we're looking good for that. So we'll... We're going to take this back to the yard. We're going to drop off. We might even take the four to go get the rollers. And then we'll get a bit of late night rolling done. And get ourselves ready for a bit of drilling in the morning. So let's see how we get on.
All right, and well, we now have our new rollers on the back. These are the Dalbo, Dalbo rollers, and they're about five and a half meters wide. And we're cruising along here, not too quickly, but we're we're getting it done. It's just gone past midnight, so we now just have less than twelve hours left to go, and we're we're cruising. Uh, we're gonna get these fields rolled down. Uh, we need to get some more bags of seeds. We need to sell some lettuce. And we also need to get ourselves ready to go with the drill as well. So lots to do. Lots for us to consider here. But we will just keep ticking along. We can't do any of that until we get this all done. Uh, and then we'll be able to really make some traction here. That is the very big plan at least. Well, with that, and it being around about 4 a.m. in the morning, we are finished rolling, which is good. Uh, and now we've got about eight hours left to go. We're going to fold up our rolls behind us here. These are sneaky wide, actually. They take a little bit of squeezing through a, uh, a gateway. There they go. Uh, and we're just going to pop through here. Uh, take this back down to the yard here. We can take off the, the rollers. We don't need those for now. And then we're... Uh, yeah. We're going to start to get a bit of a plan together for what our next steps are. Uh, we need to buy some more bales. And I'll show you why in a short moment or two. We need to fill up the tractor with diesel by the looks of things. That's not looking good. Uh, and then we can get going. Uh, we'll have to go down and get some seed. We'll check our contracts as well. See if there's anything we can really... Uh, get our teeth stuck into in April now and we'll see what our plans are for the rest of the day and beyond uh, but first things first this tractor needs a bit of diesel we'll just swing around here we do have a diesel tank here as well Ooh. Let's just, uh, we need to give ourselves a little bit more space, knock off the engine, jump out, and then we can refuel. Plenty of diesel left in the tank there as well. All right, that'll do it. Perfect. So, 
We're just going to park this somewhere for now. Uh, and we have a little bit of a problem that arose uh, just the other day. What well, I just saw actually earlier on today. There are no bales in this shed. There should be. There should be about, well, I don't know, uh, 10 or so bales of straw and hay, respectively. But as you can see, there's clearly neither of both. So, what's more worrying as well... is that we also do not have a single round bale of silage in here. And as you know, if you've watched along this series, there should be many of those in here. So we're, we're really losing. We've lost a lot of money. We're going to have to bring those back in. I need to go back into the previous videos there and see how many we should have. And I'm going to add those back in respectively, because otherwise that's a lot of money we've lost out there. And we need to kind of get that figured out. But that being said, we have some work that we can do. Uh, we currently have our drill, which is in here. And it's not a very big drill though. It is just a small three meter record, nice and cheap. It'll do a great job for us. I just wonder if there's anything. There's definitely nothing in here for us. Uh, oh, new tractor in there though, but we don't need that. Uh, I've added a few different mods, but I have no idea how much they cost. So let's have a quick look through here. Um, they're not cheap. That's the only concern that I have. Uh, they are not cheap at all. That was seven grand, that we, so we will get a little bit back. But yeah, uh, I was thinking of maybe going up to one of these at four meters wide, but you know, maybe we'll just have to stay with what we've got for now. Uh, but we'll see about that. Next thing I need to check. Oh my! Oh my, we'll take some of these on board. Will we ever... We're going to accept that contract. We're going to accept that contract. There's bailing gigs coming in now as well. Now that... That is interesting to me. And we've got the weeding contract that we still need to finish off as well. Because uh, we're in April, so I wonder... We could take a job like this. And then look to use some of the equipment for our own purposes. That's, that's really interesting. That's a heck of a line of equipment there, isn't it ever? Ooh, it's getting light out already. Look at that, that's awesome. That's a good plan, but first thing we need to check as well. We need to get some drilling done today. We need to drill in our cereal crops today, otherwise we're going to be sunk. So that is going to be step number one. What I think I'm going to do is actually get rid of this. I'm going to sell that and we're going to lease a bigger drill or maybe acquire a bigger drill. And then that way we can actually uh, get that done with a bit of haste. Uh, because I think speed is going to start to become a little bit more important to us today. Uh, so let's look at do we go four meters? If we're going to go for one of these, we'll go for the slightly bigger one, right? That makes just too much sense to me. Uh, we'll go old. We, we can add a disc marker onto there. It's a lot of money, but I think this is a good step to take. We can, we can do that. And then we can sell that one as well. Let's get rid of that. That's not done a day's work for us yet. Uh, so we're really going to see... It's costing us about 10 grand. And then we can easily go and pick up some uh, the rest of it when we need to. So that I like a lot. We've got one small bag of seed in the back there. We're going to need a few to get this all done with. So what we will do is we'll get some more seed bought as well. Uh, and then... We'll be able to really make a bit of traction. I'm just going to stick this down here out of the way, really. There's nothing else that we need down here. So this will be just fine and dandy about there. There you go. Awesome. And we'll go and pick up this roller. We'll get some more seed bolt as well. So let's just do that now. And then we are looking good to get cracking on. I get this into the ground. That's a bet. The only thing we need to do today for sure is get the seed into the ground. After that, it's a case of us really jumping onto as many contracts as we can. So we'll probably do the fertilizer ones first because we have that kit and we can afford to do that. And then we'll have to look into the next options. Uh, we're going to get a few bags of seed here because whatever we don't use on the ground, we'll be able to use for uh, things like our uh, allotments as well. So let's just go for eight, seven there. We'll have to bring those back at some point. All right, and so the next thing we need to do is get light in a hurry. It is now 5.30 and we need to... Go and pick up our drill, get some seed into it, and we're going to get going as quickly as we can. We've only got to go through until midday, as we know. Uh, so that is going to come around very quickly, I have no doubt about that. So we will get a fire in here. 
Uh, if we can, we'll we'll try to get a bit more of the fertilizer contracts done today as well. But I just don't see it happening before we get to our midday challenge end. Uh, but we will have that in the back burner for the next episode next week, where we can really start to leverage that and build that forward. Because I think again, that's going to be the key area for us to to build upon. So. Uh, the main thing is we get that we've only have to have to get everything drilled today it has to be in the ground so that is going to be key area number one if we'll have to roll it after that as well and then we've got fertilizer that we can stick on so there's still lots to do for that ground if we can get some fertilizer onto the grassland as well then superb that'll allow us to really kick that up but that is where we're going to be kind of focusing our efforts for the rest of the day i uh, like to say beautiful day good good growing conditions which is fantastic and we'll have to take those and have to run with it so uh, we have a, it's now a five meter drill, so it should be plenty wide enough for what we've got in mind. I'm wondering if we may need to pick up a weight, because uh, I don't think I have one this far. We'll have to just check quickly, see if we do or not. But yeah, I do want to, uh, I think this is going to be a great move up for us. It's bigger, it's a lot faster for us just to rattle through. And let's see, are we going to need a weight there? We're, we're going to need a weight. Okay, brilliant. Let's see if we've got one. Like I say, I don't, I'm not 100% sure that we do. We do not. So let's just pick up a cheap weight here. Doesn't have to be anything fancy at all. However, uh, that will do, I'm sure. Uh, let's just stick it into, do you want to go red? Is it massy red there? No, we'll stick with black. We'll stick with what we know. Okay, so we'll be off and away to the race in just a moment. We Now that we've accepted another two contracts there, we are probably going to need a little bit more in terms of fertilizer, but we'll try and use up everything we've got for now. And then uh, what that should allow us to do is actually just to complete the contract first. I need to stop doing that. That's going to be problematic. All right. So just like that, then we are away. We can go and get ourselves into the two small fields that we've made. Uh, they don't look too big there, but one of them's going to take a bit of drilling. Uh, and then the the long narrow one will probably start in that one first, just and work our way out. Uh, but we are currently putting wheat into there. Uh, so we'll start with a field. Uh, I think we're going to do barley and both of them to start with there. We can get the straw off that as well. We are, like I said earlier, there. we're going to need to jump on and get a few bales because we have nothing. So I need to figure out how many we had and then I'll replace those. So we'll, if we need to buy any more, we will look into doing that in the next episode there. Just so we can really just get flying along with this now um, and see how we get going there. But yeah, onwards with the drilling, I think.
Well, with just done over three hours left to go there, we're finishing the first field. The second field is going to be a bit of a struggle to get it all done today. However, it's uh, we'll get a good chunk of it done, that's for sure. Uh, this has gone in quite well. Uh, quite pleased with it. Uh, we're going to just finish off a little bit down here, and then we're all set to go. We'll get this rolled in as soon as we can as well. Uh, and then it's on to on to the next challenges really but yeah really pleased with how this is coming together i'm just delighted to get the first field in that was the main priority there and now we can focus on getting everything else set up just and dialed in just right really uh we have a little bit of an odd shape here i feel uh we're just not gonna quite get it all in here but that being said we are we're flying really we're very very happy with how it's going the speed at which we can work with this machine is uh is vastly improved from the, the the three meter accord that we had there before so and that all came down to the fact that we you know we we had uh, a couple of contracts that we were able to complete so they're really kickstarting the farm here when at the moment now we're doing all right for money of course we'll get some more coming in here soon uh as we look to build up and seed wise uh 25 percent of a tank use for that so really not much so we'll be able to just jump straight on over into this next field here as soon as we're all folded up and we actually get out which is now uh we're on to the next one really this field obviously not as long a bit wider though so we'll take a bit of time to get through it all uh and then yes we are we're good to go uh we haven't fed the cattle yet today as well of course we need to get the bales sorted out for that one we'll look to do that as soon as we can um this afternoon there really so likely in the next challenge video we'll have that all figured out and sorted out for us here uh but yeah the key feature for us now is just to get this one drilled up as well uh and yeah happy very very happy indeed it does need some fertilizer on here we will get that figured out uh relatively quickly so that'll be that'll be fantastic and then we will be away that lower down we are now on track number one as well i want that one down and away we go and we're off just like that so yeah this field like i say we'll get cracking through it we'll see how we go we might even just do the the three headlands here first uh and then we will just fill in the, the blanks after that and see we i don't even think we're gonna need to refill the cedar up there so we have a lot of extra seed We'll keep that. We'll find a way to use it. Like I mentioned earlier, we'll probably go into the greenhouses there, which is fine by me. Uh, and we can really cook on. So I think now about what we can do for furthering the development of the farm here as well. If we continue to get a little bit more work in through contracts, or whatever else it may be. You know, what does that look like for us? How are we going to be able to push ahead and go to that next level? So that's what we're starting to think about. If you have any ideas for that, of course, do leave them down below. And uh, yeah, we'll start to think about what that how we can really expand this this has to be in a manner that is not too expensive and that we can actually facilitate whilst we're, we're slowly growing that's important but you know there's a, a lot of options out there so we'll have to try and figure out what that looks like for us uh but yes ultimately i am um, i'm just really happy with how this is coming together uh, i love the the massey that we've got now and the, the the cedar is just fantastic really really is perfect for our needs uh and uh, yeah allow us to really kick on then hopefully if there's some contracts that we can take on board as well then perfect you know that'll lead, that'll really enhance what we can do but that being said we've got rollers now we've got a drill now and we are able to forge ahead with this so we'll get this field done we've got three and a half, two and a half hours left now time is really ticking by so if we get this field done that'll be an even bigger bonus but we'll see what it looks like as we come to wrap everything up before we finish today's 24 hour challenge
Well, we are now into the final hour there. It's been a busy one, but we are flying through. Uh, what we need to do is get ourselves back onto the right track there. Uh, we will get this field finished up probably in about the next hour or so in the uh, uh, in the next day. And then, like I say, lots to do, lots to move on to, lots of opportunities to make a lot of money. So it's all going to be rather exciting. And hopefully, there we go. So we'll have to correct that a little bit, but we can do that. That's not a problem at all. Uh, and this is probably going to be the best place for us to, to think about moving or, or stopping here, actually. And uh, we'll come back to finish this all off later on. Uh, but yeah, so like I say, we're flying through here. This won't take us too long to get all wrapped up there. And then uh, lots moving forward. Like I say, if you have any suggestions as to how we can really look to uh, develop this farm. Look at the grass, by the way. This is really ready to be cut already. Uh, so we're going to have to start to think about mowing again. So therein lies the next question as well. What do we do in terms of... We have a small square baler, I do believe, uh, that we own. But we do need to do wrapped silage bales. So we have to think about what that looks like now. There are a few contracts out there that we can take for uh, grass silage. Now, if we do that, obviously, it will allow us to really uh, jump at the bit for hours as well there. So we've got two, 22. That is just huge. I'm sorry, but that is just ginormous. So 22 and 7. Obviously, it's going to be a grass field. 22 is not big, and field 7 would make the most sense because it's right there, and you've got to assume the bales are going somewhere close by. So maybe we'll just take field 7 as it goes, uh, and then we can... And we can actually take our... Uh, and then from there, we can actually take on all of our uh, machines and, and use them for our own good. So 7, big M as well. Oh, buddy, let's do that. We're going to borrow the items. Excellent. So now we need to... We'll get through these two first. Uh, these fertilizer contracts first, I think, just to get a bit more money in, because 21 and 20 and 5. 5 is a beast. 5 is pretty darn large. So what we might look to do there is get a bit uh, strategic with ourselves and just look to really... Um, whilst we're mowing here, for example, we'll, we'll let the hired worker just crack on there. That might be something we look to do. And it would certainly allow us to, to make some progress. Uh, we are missing quite a lot here as well. So I do need to look into those bales. Let's see if the... We're going to have to get some water for the tank here as well. Because uh, this looks like everything is dying off there. So this is going to need some... It's good for seeds and fertilizer. Looks like it's going to need a bit of water, I think. And then it should be good to go. So that's something we can look into. And perhaps now that we're getting into a position whereby we have... Um, you know, a little bit more money. Maybe we look at getting a place for water tank around here too. Because that could help. Uh, from the cattle standpoint, they're probably going to need feeding. They do desperately need feeding. So, wow, is this, do we need to look at that? We need to get that up and up and up because it's not in a good place right now. Milk-wise, though, we do have milk to sell. So, again, next episode is going to be a bit of a real money-making episode there. I can't wait. Uh, and that, that will be where we we should leave it. And uh, So, yeah. This has been the, with 20-ish minutes left to spare, this has been the last, latest episode of the 24-hour challenge. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed. We'll be bringing you more of these as well. Uh, we're going to bring you one every week now, I think, as we kind of push through here and see what else we can get done. But with that being said, with a few minutes shy to go there, we're going to wrap it up and leave it here. So thank you very much for watching as always. I do hope you have enjoyed. I have been Simulation for the Nation. This is the 24-hour challenge. We'll see you all in the next one. Catch you later.